Hello and welcome to a beautiful dawn here on Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. The sun is slowly coming up and it's proving to be already a beautiful morning. And today's show is all about the letter P. Potatoes and a story about the world's largest pumpkin. As I prepare to plant both potatoes and pumpkins here on the allotment. Sit back, relax, get yourself a copper and enjoy today's show. Well, as I said, we're starting with the letter P today and we've got pumpkins and I'm really proud of these ones. Uh, it's the first time I've grown them. This one was planted, let's have a look, the 26th of February this year. And it's come on leaps and bounds in the growing frame. And I'm going to grow it on the bank here. And because it can have free reign, it can do what it likes. It won't interfere with any of the plants. Uh, I might plant some cabbages behind, but it won't interfere with that. History wise, where do we get the pumpkin from? Well, archaeologists have found them, uh, domesticated ones, the seeds anyway, in Mexico. And, uh, but they've discovered they weren't like our pumpkins that we know, the big bright orange things. They were smaller, the flesh was really tough, and they were quite bitter. And so what they used to do apparently, is they used to boil them all day, until they were really soft and squidgy. And then they had lots of spices and butter to it, and make it really tasty. And uh, the recipes have survived and developed. About 1720 they started doing more recipes with pumpkins in, in the Americas. And uh, well, we're still experimenting today how to make these things tasty but of course we know that they're for October a lot, a lot of the times when we carve faces out of them in fact here's a couple of pictures that we did this year of our pumpkins last October well pumpkins are magnificent now the biggest pumpkin the 2014 so far I don't think the record has been surpassed a guy called Bernie Meyer in Germany and it's 2,323.7 pounds uh, which equates to quite a heavy stoneage. I think it's something like, is it 170 stone or 190 stone? I can't quite remember, but that's a massive. In fact, let me show you a picture. Here we go. Look at the size of that. Magnificent. Well done, Bernie. I just hope my pumpkins, <laughs> well, don't get as big as that, really, because I don't know what I'd do with them if they did. Fascinating, wasn't it, about the uh, pumpkin? Look at that. And that picture was just absolutely amazing. Well, I'm sat here in front of the plot where my potatoes are going to go and uh, well, it was quite cool last night because on days like today as you know when there's no cloud at all the evenings and the early mornings become very very frosty so my ground was protected under plastic but of course the plastic yesterday was really really hot in the sun condensation on the side and this morning we've got ice on the ground so be careful if you've got things planted in there now speaking of ice Let's pop across to Canada, to Morag, and this is her picture of the last of the snow. And soon, hopefully, Morag, that'll be all melted away and you can get to planting. Well, I'm here, as I say, next to the plot where I'm going to be planting my potatoes. And these are the potatoes that I've had in chitting in my greenhouse since January. And these are Albert Rooster ones, which I grew last year and very successfully. And they're really, really nice potato, an all-rounder, as they say. And here, the ones that I found in my shed, as you saw earlier, are called Desiree. And these are already chitting. Now, these have just been in the cupboard <laughs> in my shed. To tell you the truth, I'd forgotten or I'd bought them until I was rummaging and looking for something. And they've come on really well. Now, both of these will be planted at the same time. These are the main crops, so they will be left later on in the season. And we'll get lots of potatoes from both of these. I also have some bags and I'll put some in there as well. So lots of things to do with potatoes here on Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. Now before I go today, we're going to hop off down to Derby and have a look back from last July to Rob and Carol's garden. And uh, well, Carol, you grew all sorts of things. You and Rob, you had herbs as you can see here. And of course you had your chilies with your chili wagon and tomatoes and uh, well look at your potatoes fighting with the broad beans in the back it was lovely to see all of the things you did and of, of course on top of all that you had a beautiful area where you had all your fantastic flowers i 
And can you spot Barry down there in the front taking the limelight? Good old Barry. Hope to see him this year on the allotment. Well, once again, thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you very much for your comments. And I'll see you very soon on a wonderful day here on the allotment. Oh, and don't forget, keep pressing the subscribe button. It's great to have you on board. Ta-ra for now.